And we're alive. Are you alive? Still here, always here. Bot is connected. Hmm, no one's here yet. What happened to the early birds? Maybe you're the early bird. Knives Severin. That's an interesting name. Can't remember if you've been here before. I am awful forgetful. Games are here. Oh, fishy, 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 fish. A fish. A fish. Double tier. A fish. A fishy. Ooh. I started on time and then no one was here. Usually I st start late or something. Now with my new audio set it up set up. Oh Latvia. You guys are gonna have to let me know how loud it is, or not loud enough, you know. So let's see, what should I start with? <clears throat> oh, I forgot something. Someone asked me to play some of the contest games, and I didn't add them. I was going to add them, and I forgot to add them. Why don't I do that real quick? It won't take but a minute. Shouldn't take but, but a minute. Or two, or three. That's how slow I am. Get up there.
Yeah, this should be easy. Why are there so many files here? Oh, I'm going to have to combine this one. Okay, this will take me a, a minute more than I thought. Because I have to combine this. Hopefully this one plays just as is. With no other conversions. Now let's check the other ones. All right, that's done. I kind of feel weird about playing any games that are in a contest because I feel like I'll be judging the games and I don't want to be judging the games, but it was requested. Oh yeah, we could spin the wheel. Yeah, I forgot. Let's do that real quick. Oh, what do we got here? Is this it? This is it. All right. You ready? Let's go. Real Genius and Revenge of the Nerds. Uh, uh. Oh, <laughs> that's exactly what you guys thought, didn't you? It's rigged. Was did Games are even watch that? I don't know. I did it. I don't know if he watched it. He's not commenting. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Chippy was one of them. Oh, do I have to have the ECS to play it? Oh. I could do that. I can do that. Why not? I'll do it. Let's let's plug in the ECS. Just to play this contest game, which is kind of ridiculous, but we're going to do it. Now let me just get the power cord hooked up. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, 
probably extra noisy. Excuse the extra noise. I think there was some interference there. ECS found. Two K RAM missing. Super graphics off. Can I still play the game? File name. Oh, man, this one's complicated. I don't know. I don't even know how to play this contest entry. Okay, forget about that one. I did all that for no reason. Canyon and Escape was one of them. I spun the wheel games are, but I don't know if you watched it. I'm so sorry, it's the moops. <laughs> so this is the contest's entry into this year's uh programming contest. Wow. That's kinda cheap. I probably should read the how to play this one, but I didn't. I'm just firing. Wow. I'm not, maybe this one's a work in progress. I'm gonna check out if any of the keypad buttons do anything. Doesn't look like it. But you can scoot up, though. I wonder if you need to go forward. No going forward just kills you? I'm sure this is a work in progress game. But it's for the contest. Or... Yes. <laughs> I don't I don't want to make any comments cuz I don't want to make comments towards games in the contest. I'm just playing it and then that's it. I'm not sure if there's a point to this or not. Someone's tattoo. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else was there. There was also uh, Maxit and Cart. Oh. This one I would need instructions on. Uh... Guess I would need to go to Atari Age for this one. Okay, let's find out about Chippy. The one that we can't play. Chippy is an ECS program. Chippy was deliberately made 
this small so that even the largest possible chip 8 program is loaded uh uses the also uses the ECS ECS keyboard I think it might be more in line to play it on an emulator than on my back bits. Yeah, so I can't really play that one. And I'll max it. Uh, player one moves only horizontally and player two moves vertically. For each player in turn must choose an available number and press the button to capture it. The value will be added or subtracted from your score. Values with a gray background are positive. The values of the red background are negative. The last number captured will be shown next to the scoreboard. The wild card cells have a hidden number and their value will be only be revealed after the player captures it. They're in the game. A random scan of the board may occur with and one cell will be hidden with a white card. Man, this is too complicated for me. <laughs> And I guess you need two players. Eh. I'm not really big on math. So we'll see what card is. And how do we play cart? Press one to play the standard courses for random courses. Press two. Controls, press the fire button or up on the disc to accelerate. Press an alternate fire button or down on the disc to decelerate. Plus left to right to steer. Each course starts when you accelerate. Race to collect the required number of tags. Click as possible. When the required number of tags have been reached, the level is complete. Missing a tag means you'll have to wait for the next tag to drop. Hitting obstacles on the road slow you down. Making turns will also slow you down. Six courses to choose from. With increasing go-kart power. After completing all six courses, your course times and overall time will be shown. There's, there's two, also two Easter eggs. Alright, let's give it a try. Which one of the tags? Is that a tag? Or is that a tag? You know which one of the tags? I wonder if it's the triangle? Can't be the X. Oh, it's just those green things? I, it kind of tells you where they're going to be ahead of time. This one's interesting.
If I was to pick a favorite out of the ones I've played, it'd be this one. But I can't play the first one because I don't think I can play it on the back bit. And I don't want to pull out an emulator to play it. <sighs> the sneeze. Oh. And I didn't sneeze. <laughs> the spectrum. <laughs> I'd sell it if I were you. What, do you want me to be known as ZX Spectrum Dude or something? Getting faster. That was near perfect. Oops. More obstacles now, too, I think. I think they said it was six courses, so we're on course five, I think, so... We'll see if we can get all six courses done. I don't know. Uh, I don't remember what the uh, what the website said on that. Let's see. Let me check again. It just says obstacles, so I think they're meaningless. There is two Easter eggs. Easter egg one: press nine at the start screen, then press seven and eight to select the starting seed number. This will change the course sequence accordingly. Only the sequence of numbers change, and some values will provide similar courses. When set, press 2 to start the game. Easter egg number 2. Press 6 at the start screen, then press 4 and 5 to select how soon the tags to drop. 2 is standard, 1 is sooner, 0 is soonest. Press 3 when set, press 1 and 2 to start the game. Now, what did I do wrong in Canyon Escape? Let's see. Directions up, down, left, right. 
left right button to fire rocket avoid destroy rockets rocks collect fuel current tank level is shown at the top of the screen running out of fuel will cost you one life additional life bonus appears from time to time especially avoid enemy rockets fired from the top of the screen your score is played so i probably i played that correctly it just uh wasn't doing very well This wasn't doing very well. Well, out of the the three that I could play, this one was this is the most fun one so far. I just can't play the fourth one. I could see your see someone mastering this and not getting hit once, and just zipping back and forth. I'm sure you could master this one if you tried hard enough. Had a quick enough reaction time. So that's all six levels. Are we done? Yes. Four tags missed, 23 obstacles hit. Okay. Summary is standard. All right. Well, that was pretty fun. All right, so that's all the contest ones. So now I'm just going to play whatever. Uh, you know, I'm still addicted to chip shot golf these days, guys. So unless you stop me, I'm probably going to play some chip shot right now. I'm pretty addicted right now. I went from thinking the game was kind of overrated and not as fun anymore to super addicted again and loving it. Play Mazatron. Play River Raid. No, I don't want to embarrass myself with a River Raid. I'm not going to do good. It's not going to look good. It's going to be terrible. I'm not good at this game. It went, it went with round fuel things for some reason. Oops.
wonder why they went with round fuel discs for this one. Can you fly over land in this version? No, you can't. You just cost me a life. Well, I don't want to play anymore anyway. <laughs> Not the trees. I don't want to play no more of that game. I don't like it. Well, let's see. Do, do I have a score for Trail of Tears? Or is that the one I don't have a score for? Or that I finally get a score for that one. No, I don't have a ski I don't have a score for Trail of Tears. We're in the rough. Let's get my manual out for this one. One seventy two against the wind. So I'll do a four iron. That curved more than I thought it would. Okay, I thought that was going to go off. There we go, par. Looked at the resistor in the fix. 5.61 is for RF audio. There's three more to fix up. All right. No. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at that shot. Not in the water. But this will probably hit the trees, though. Wow, that went that way. I'm going to start over. Where's dude? What do you mean where's dude? Did something did something go wrong? Yeah, something did go wrong. What happened? How did my webcam get shut off? I must have clicked on something. How long have I been gone? How long, how long has it taken before anybody said anything? Nope. That's all we got. One goddamn hit. Four iron. And I screwed it up.
So you still working on it then, Oni? That's acceptable. Oh, so close. I'll take par. The five iron, as long as I don't undershoot it. Uh, we're almost on the green. I almost just want to put it from here. Ooh, that was pretty close. <laughs> that was actually pretty close. Par. Oh, no. Oh, no. We have to waste a shot and go this... Uh, well, well, can I even go this way? Or will I just get stuck in the trees? Oh. At this point, you might as well just start over. Cause now you're stuck for life. Ah, no, we can't have this. I'm starting over again. I don't. I, I don't know. I don't know if I can get out of that. How many attempts it would take me to get out of that? Why? You know what's funny, and this is the God's honest truth. I don't have to lie. Man, trail of tears is hard. Plus, I'm just playing bad. <gasps> Almost in the water. Ooh, that's pretty close. There we go. I wonder if you can sh shoot short and then kind of get over those trees right there and in between them and go straight down. Well, I screwed that up.
We still have a chance at a birdie, but probably not going to get it with that kind of shot. Jeez, that's terrible. No, I didn't know how to shoot that one. Can we still get par? I don't know. Oh, come on. Well, the other day, like I told you guys, I did better that yesterday when I was playing offline. I was just testing out, you know, and and I couldn't stop playing, of course. Just couldn't stop playing. Then I end up having the best game of my life. <gasps> wow. <laughs> that should have went in the water. There we go. Now this is the one I'm worried about. 173 going with the wind. Five iron it should be. Oh, look at that. I'm putting that thing. Oh, this way. It probably didn't matter which way. Well, close enough. Par. I don't know if I can make that. 240 to 300 for a... Not for a driver. 220 to 260 for a 3-wood. And going kind of against the wind. And I undershot it. So as long as we get over the water. Oh, close, but not close enough. Bogey. The game I had yesterday reminded me of that game that that uh, the priest guy was having in Caddyshack. He's playing through the storm, having the game of his life. <laughs> oh, lovely tree. Thank you, tree. That's just what I wanted. Oh, oh, did you see that? Well, I thought that was going in. That was so close. So, so close. Oh, and I hit that under. Oh, dang it. Par. Screwed up a birdie attempt. 213, two iron, but we're going against the wind, so I'll go one iron. Kind of going against the wind, I think. Oh, well. I under hit shot that. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. Ah. Oh, I screwed that up. Don't go in the water. 
Let's make up for it somehow. Let's just get on the course. 191 to go. Three iron, I guess. As long as I don't undershoot it. Might hit that tree if I go that way. I sliced it on purpose, so maybe it would curve. It didn't curve. Mm, dang it. Double bogey. Okay. Of course the best shot's going to be hitting that island right there. But it's hard to determine uh, how far you need on that. Will my driver be too much? Or will my three wood be what I need? See, I wish I could practice that, you know. But I guess we'll go with driver... I undershot it, and we made it. <laughs> so we have a chance at an eagle here. 159. Looking at a six iron, I think. As long as I don't overshoot it. That's going to be a tough eagle attempt. Oh, dang. That was so close. Birdie. Uh, will I hit that tree? I don't know. Maybe. Let's do three wood. Don't go in the sand. Oh, lucky we didn't go in the sand. We'll do three wood. I undershot it, but that actually, well, that's not too bad. <clears throat> well, of course I wanted to be on the green, but, you know. Ugh. Bogey. I don't know if I missed saying hello to anybody. I see codes here. I'm sure you guys know if I forget, you know, I don't mean to. Seventy five looking at five iron. Is that with the wind or against the wind? I probably should stay safe with a four iron.
and I undershot it. Par. Ooh, I like that link. <laughs> Sixty six. I sliced it, but you know, we're on the green, hey. Eh? Have a chance for a birdie here. If I know how to hit it right. There, there. I guess we'll go there. No, it was up one. Dang it. Screw that up. Bogey. Okay, going with the wind, 156, we'll do a 7 iron, let's see how much the wind trip makes it go. Does it really go with the wind too much? Not too much. Birdie! Man, I, get, I wish you guys could have seen the game I had yesterday. Man, oh man, I wish you guys could have seen that. I sliced it on purpose, but I sliced it too early. <laughs> Dang it. I wonder if I can get oh, through these trees. Eh, this could have been worse. Oh, too hard. But I'm going to putt it. No more. We're going uphill. Bogey. Tarman? Did I finish the newer games yet? Yeah. One of them I can't play, though. So I can't test them all. Uh, I don't think we'll play Tarman today. Tarman's a game that if I'm going to play it, I need to start it early. And I don't know if I have a reason to play Tarman right now. We accomplished everything we were going to do with it. So I don't know what else to do with the game. I'd really, really need a reason and a challenge to play it. And it would probably have to be the first thing I start with with the day. I undershot it. But we didn't go in the water, thank God. I, I, I could have had another eagle attempt, but I screwed that up. Unless I can pitch it in here. Oh, no, one over. Can we can I still get a birdie out of it? Maybe. Nope. Or was that par? That was par. <laughs> okay, whose joke is this one? Who puts four trees right there and thinks I can just get over them? How are you supposed to do this one? 
how on earth do you do this one? Do you have to curve it? Will it go? Will it just go over the trees? Because I'm using a, a an iron. Just no way. I wonder if there was a strategy for this one. I wonder well, what it would have been. That barrier comes in our road. We're going to figure out, we're going to either jump over it, we got to figure out how to get around it, dig under it, or smash through it. Hit that too hard. Uh, there, maybe there was a strategy there, and I just don't know what it is. You know, maybe. Oh, that should have went in. I got robbed on that one. Yeah, I, I thought of something like that, too. It's possible. Like this one. I'm, I just want to goof around right here. Oh, it can go over trees, but that's not actually what I intended to do. I wanted to do a straight shot right to the thing. Right from underneath those trees. I thought it'd get stuck right there. Then I could go straight to the, the thing. But with 300 to go, the three wood wouldn't make it there. So we kind of have to go this way. Two oh eight left. Two iron, maybe, or maybe I'll. Do one iron. And I still undershot it by a ton. How do I shoot this one? Not like that. I, th I think going up the middle between those trees is a mistake. Oh, but I, sh I undershot it. Oh, dang it. Well, that sucked. Did I overhit it? Yeah, only barely. So now we're putting for bogey. Oh, come on. An 85 for my first attempt. That's not my favorite course. <laughs> I probably won't play that course too much. I'm going to be very upset if in two years from now, I don't walk out into our park parking lot <laughs> and see 
40 Ferraris. Like, I'm going to be really mad. I want to play this one more time, but we're going to play the uh, INTV tourney. This is the course where I, I just the other day, I just yesterday I hit a 74, three over, three over par, which is probably the best I've ever done. So, okay, we're shooting into the wind, 159. So we'll do a six iron. All right, he sliced it. Lovely. Oh, come on. Let's start over. <laughs> oh, we're starting over again. <laughs> Sorry. Now that's a good hit. Six. Do a nine iron. Oh, we're on the green. That's a terrible birdie attempt. I want to at least get par on the first hole. Then every hole after that, it doesn't matter. Birdie, even better. I was waiting for that. I was waiting for someone to catch on to that one. <laughs> I was waiting for that. So with the angle there, I can't tell if it's going to hit those trees. And there, I, I'm wondering if it's going to go out of bounds, so... So, okay, that was good. Sometimes the angles on these are really off, it feels like. 72, go four iron to make sure. Oh, so close. It curved on me. Glad to deliver. Man, I was making that's what she said jokes back in the back in the mid nineties. Oh really? Is that how it's gonna be? We're gonna putt this thing. Okay, now the game goes downhill for us. <laughs> now it goes downhill.
I probably can only play as good as I did yesterday when I'm not streaming and no one's watching. How did that go away over there? Must have sliced it. Man, I almost want to start over again, I swear. That's going to hit that tree, isn't it? Is there any way I can slice this, you think? No. I'm actually going to start over. Yell at me if you want. I'm sure there's people probably pissed off right now. You're going to be playing this game all day. <laughs> That's a great shot. There, there. There. All right, one eighty eight. Well, three iron, three iron. Wow, look at that. Yes, another birdie. Oh no, I way undershot it. <gasps> oh no. Oh, dang it. I started off fantastic and now it's gone downhill again. <coughs> well, I wish I could play the homebrew cornhole, but you know, that's game that's not being shared or available to buy that's another argument I could have about some of these homebrews too many companies are still still so damn stubborn about letting their games be out there to be played by everybody It's like if you didn't buy it at the convention, sucks to be you, I guess, or, or wherever it was for sale. I just want the ROM. I'm putting this thing. These chip shots are so dumb. Well, wow, that didn't go anywhere.
Oh, I screwed that up big time. Oh, lovely. Oh. What the hell? I don't think that too many people are fans of this one. I think everybody is quiet and tunes out when I play this. Which is a shame. Yeah, they don't know what they're missing. Too bad I can't swing it between those trees right there. And I screwed it up anyway. Well, it's okay. I ate the rest of that pizza I said I was going to throw away. So, that's that. <laughs> I didn't feel like cooking today. Today I did my taxes instead. And that always stresses me out, even though it's real easy to do. I always get stressed out every time I have to do them. Well, the pizza is not healthy for me, and uh, it kind of does to me what some foods do to you when I eat pizza. And sometimes it's not all pizza. Sometimes it's just certain pizzas. The really bad quality made ones like that one sometimes tear me apart really bad. Now we're behind a tree. Lovely. I don't know if I can get it to curve or not. No, but we're past the tree, though.
God, it curves so much. Okay, I'm either going to start over or we're going to play something else. <sighs> For some reason, I just, I, I, I'm not relaxed right now. I think I have to be relaxed to play this game and I'm not relaxed at all. I feel like I'm on edge, stressed out. All my viewers left me. Do I? I guess they're just not talking. Because <sighs> this game takes full concentration. It just takes full concentration. And I, I'm losing it right now. I'm losing it. Let me just relax for a minute. I never did ask if the sound effects or not really the sound effects, but the game volume. Is it normal? Is it is it how it should be? Is it quieter or louder than what I usually play? Because what I normally do, because of these sound issues that I have with with the dazzle, what you know when I would when I would play on my HD TV, I would go digital out sound from the TV into the computer, and that's what you would hear, and that's what I would hear. And now that I'm using a CRT, I'm doing the same thing, but it's not digital out; it's just stereo out. Of the TV into the computer. But it's a little bit quieter, huh? <clears throat> Excuse me. And that can be uh, adjusted by uh, two ways. Turning the volume up on the TV itself or turning the volume up on in OBS. But if you guys like it that way, we'll keep it that way. But I'm starting over anyway. I don't know if I can play this right now, but we'll give it another another attempt. You gotta concentrate, you gotta relax. And we screwed up already on the very first shot. Let me just say, it's so easy to overshoot it, to go past the bar, and the game punishes you so much by not letting go in time. The game really punishes you for that. Let's see, seven. I want to go six iron. It's not curving back in like I was hoping. I thought the wind would take it and the wind didn't take it. Pretty close. And par, okay, I'll take par.
Now that one's going with the wind, but I don't know how far it'll carry it with the wind. We'll do a five iron to be on the safe side. I sliced it and we kind of did go kind of far. Come on. There we go again. The putting is so difficult in this game. <laughs> 198 to go. I'm going to do a one iron to be a safe, even if I go too far. Oh, instead I go under. Another close one. I was right the first time. Sure, one ninety two. And I somehow still slice it way over there. I don't know how it does that. Okay, I got cheated on that one. Even that, I got cheated on that one. I was right the first time. Now, that's what I think is unfair. Those ones right there. Ah!
Oh, that, I thought that was going to fall in. And I screwed it up. Well, we're on the green. I are geek. What's up? One eighty-two. I I don't. I, I'm assuming people are probably frustrated that I've reset this game like twenty times already. If somehow, by luck, Steve Ettinger is watching, I apologize for playing so poorly. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I already don't want to think about it anymore. It's fixed, and I don't want to think about it. It was nasty and gross. And I hurt myself for a few days. How am I supposed to make that? I screwed that one up, too. Ah, this is where I want to start over and scream again. Ah. I undershot it. Ah! Maybe I should play something else. I don't know. I'm getting so frustrated. I was having so much fun playing it yesterday, though. Had the game of my life, and now today I can't do nothing right.
Yeah. Now, how on the earth did I undershoot it there? I don't know. I'll take par. Birdie. And now I have a long one. Oh, wow, almost perfect. Birdie, all right. I undershot it, but actually, eh, yeah, whatever. I have a hard time with this, with this, uh, green here. Don't know how to shoot that one at all. Perfect. Now, this is the one that keeps screwing me up today. This hole right here in particular. I sliced it on purpose. Okay, well now we're between the trees. Don't know if we'll get on the green, but we'll give it a shot. No, I undershot it. Ah, I let it let go in time. Oh, I didn't hit it hard enough for that kind of shot. Dang it. I hate when I turn a par 5 into a bogey. That's just embarrassing. I can never get on the green on this one either. Always get in the sand. Oh, 
All right. You see that? Hope you guys were watching that one. Can I can I get past those trees if I go in this direction? I'm gonna try it. Oh, and I undershot it. Don't go in the water. You didn't hear that. And we're going in the trees. Game over. I don't know what I can do now except for shoot it this way. Ah, it's all over, guys. We tried. I'm giving up. Can't even go out of bounds. I'm trying to go out of bounds. It's just my frustration right here. This is a chill game. What are you talking about? <laughs> so 25 is the max. What's chill then, guys? Tell me what's chill. Ah. Yeah, I was, you know, uh, did, uh, did you guys see the videos that I uploaded to my channel? I was playing Chip Shot. Uh, well, I, while I didn't record them, I played a couple more golf games with my friend when I was at his house. We played one of the NES golf games. It wasn't the first one, but it was the second one. I forget what it was called. And then we played, uh... Mario Golf on the GameCube. Yeah, Castlevania one. But uh, but we did a whole game of a uh, chip shot golf though. But that but then after after playing that we played a whole bunch of other games. I just didn't record those. So what do you guys want to see? And don't say diner, because that's not a chill game right now. 
<laughs> That's not a chill game at all. Oh, you don't know the catalog? Oh, that's right. Okay, you're kind of new to it. Uh, what do I want to play? Like, I, I have a ton of games, but, like, I can never decide what I want to play sometimes. A lot of times I'll just go through these over and over again, say, no, nah, not that one. Eh, I don't feel like that one. Eh, I don't feel like that one. Eh, I don't feel like that one. <laughs> uh. Galaxian. Uh, Galaxian is not, I don't think it's, it's not been completed. If there is a complete version, I don't have it. Neither of these ones are really complete, complete. Okay, this is the one you can't actually play at all. Okay. The other one, I think you can only play one level and one level only. Oops. Let's see if I can even get that far. I wouldn't doubt it if there's a complete version of this out here, out there, but I don't have it. If there is a complete version, it's not for sale. I'm not sure if I can die. Oh, you can die. Okay, you can die. Oops. My dream was always to own a centipede arcade cabinet. But I don't need it that bad, because I don't have nowhere to put it. And I think that might be the end of the game. It just sticks right here. Doesn't go anywhere. So that's all you get to see of Galaga. All right, IR Geek, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you next time.
Uh, I didn't have a Turbo Graphics growing up, and when I when I in my collecting days, which was between like 2010 and we'll just say 20, I don't know, 2015, 2018, I did score a Turbo Graphics, but I had one game for it and one game for it only, so I can't actually comment on if I like the Turbo Graphics or not. So do I like it? I don't know. Boy, those colors are so weird on this TV. I don't know if those colors are correct. And the game I had for it, I didn't like. I forget. I think it was that platforming game that everybody buys for it. I think. I don't remember. Go, 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 go! Yes! No, we're going to miss one. Dang it. I don't know if we'll pick this up or not. It's going to curve. Yeah. Well, so much for that. Near perfect game. Let's see, do I have a spot for this game? Super Pro Bowling? Yeah. 267 now. Used to be 233. I might be able to get 300 in that one eventually if I keep trying hard enough.
Let's see if I can get my strategy down on this one again. Uh, might as well start over. Oh. Uh, yes, I did this. I did one just uh, last week, I think, didn't I? Or was that the week before that? If I do another one, it could be uh, Monday or Tuesday, maybe. I'm overdue for a Genesis night, too. Overdue for Genesis, I'm overdue for Atari, I'm overdue for a lot of things. Don't like where that uh, jellyfish is at. Come on, jellyfish. Well, I mean, I'm in the minority, but there are some newer games I do like an awful lot. I mean, I've loved both Red Dead Redemption games an awful lot. Well, they're not considered new anymore. They were new at one time. I love the game Dark Souls 2. I thought Elden Ring was pretty good. Skyrim was amazing. I might be missing chat a little bit here and there because I got to concentrate. 
It's gonna get start getting faster, and I'm not gonna be able to look at chat. Uh. One way for me to get added time onto the clock is to, uh, eat lobsters and crabs. This is not regular Shark Shark, this is Shark Shark 2. I don't know why I did that. Oh, I did it again. Oh, dang it. My now I'm just making mistakes. that lobster crab I mean man I'm just screwing up trying to get these yeah jellyfish are invincible only the shark can kill them which does me no good but it can sometimes help them get them off the screen though if the shark eats them oh and I was off there Shark Shark 2 has a time limit. You can set it from 1 to 9 minutes. But if you eat crabs and lobsters, you can add a minute to the timer to get it back up to 9. But it's, it's tricky because it's hard to eat those crabs and lobsters and not die by the shark at the same time. I have to be size 4 or 5 to eat a crab or lobster. Right now I'm size 3. Now I'm 4. 5 is the biggest size. Go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. Nice. Oh, I somehow missed the tail on that one. Oh, he wouldn't jump. The shark came in too quickly. I don't like those jellyfish. That was a close one. Oh, uh, I... Sometimes the, the hitbox on where his tail is sometimes is a little off, I feel. Or maybe I'm a little off.
Oh, hit the middle of his body again. Uh, I felt like I got gypped on that one. And maybe I was a little off on that one, I don't know. Well, that was my fault. Hands are sweaty. Got him. Oh, I got him, but I died getting him. <laughs> Was it worth it? I don't know. Uh, too many fish around. Oh, pink one. Oh, shark's hitting too fast. And I'm not good. I'm, I'm still not good when he gets fast. A big fish got in the way. God. Sometimes it doesn't dart fully. Yeah, you know, sometimes I don't get the full dart, and that's what hurt. that's what hurt. So you kind of stop sometimes. Maybe that's me not doing it right. I think I did play Golden Axe uh, when I did a Sega Genesis Day. I wasn't very good at it. I'm not very good at Golden Axe. Not at all. I'm pretty poor at that one. Now I'm in big trouble because now we're over 100,000. Now the shark is like on steroids. Even with the dart, I don't know how to kill the shark after 100,000. I know a few people do. 
But I'm not one of those people. We can just try to get some points or try our best. The shark gets insane around this time. Now we just gotta try to hang on. I don't know why I can kill the shark. The Intellivision Master, when he does it, he kind of makes it look easy, but I don't know how the heck he's doing it. I'd have to watch his... I'd have to watch his attempts again. He makes it look easy, but I don't know how he does it. Maybe he's got to get the shark to zigzag first, I think. Uh, not yet. I kind of don't want to start any new long game until I beat Alternate Reality, the dungeon. I kind of only want to play one long game at a time. That lobster got me that time. I think that's the trick right there, is to get the shark going back and forth, but I, I don't know if I can get the timing on it. Hey, Lance. But the Shining Force games, I think, are are probably on the list of games to, uh, to play eventually. That's the game. Now, I don't know if I'm submitting this or not yet, but I don't know if this is good enough to get second place or not. But just in case, I will take a show my console here. First, we will reset it back to the uh, game. Now we'll turn off the console. Go back on. I'll have to look up Twin Galaxy scores and see where this one ranks. I think that's better than my previous attempt, though. I don't know what second place is on this one yet. Let's see. There's Shark Shark, but this is Shark Shark 2. I'm not sure if I wrote down a score for Shark Shark 2. Shark Shark. Because with Shark Shark 2, not only do you have to write down a score, you got to write down the score for which time that you're going to play as. I might do this one later. I might have to have a whole page for it. Yeah, I don't have a score written down for that one. I'll do it later, I think. But I will look up what the Twin Galaxies score for this one is. Uh, 
Dark Shark 2. A nine minute game. Nah, I wouldn't be second place. I would only improve on my score at third place, and that's not really worth it. The Intellivision Master has 153,000 points. Second place is Rickster 8 with 105,000. I could possibly beat that with a if I play a little bit better. I possibly could beat that. I don't know if I could ever kill the shark though. Let's see. The dungeon game is awesome, and the setting is intense. I get the feeling of being stuck in is pretty cool, yeah. Funny story, I saved up enough cash to buy a cart, and it came down to Shark Shark and Sharp Shot. I chose Sharp Shot. <laughs> Sharp Shot is a game I've not really played much of at all. I had Shark Shark, and I did not have Sharp Shot. I don't know. Uh, uh, my memories on some of those games I got back in the day are kind of lost. Like, I don't know which games I picked out, which games were just bought for me. So, so Some of those memories are gone now. I think every game that I got from Toys R Us, I picked out. Those are the later releases. But the ones before that, some of those memories are kind of lost. Uh, I'll, I can play some Deep Pockets, but let me go use the bathroom real quick. Deep Pockets is pretty good. It was unreleased at the time. It's been released now. It's okay. I played it before. We'll, we'll give it a shot. I'll be right back. Michael Hayes is here. Fathom? No thanks. <laughs> Cloudy Mountain? Uh, if I do Cloudy Mountain, it's not going to be right now. We're going to play some other games first. I play Cloudy Mountain an awful lot, though, on stream. and I, I may get to it, but just not yet. We still got some other requests and games people want to see. I play that one an awful lot, so...
forget how, to, how do I set the ball. Okay, enter. And about there, maybe. So we're playing nine ball, so. Oh, wait, did I scratch or something? Why do I get to move the cue ball if I, if I scratched? I don't know how to... Sp I don't know if I'm supposed to hit up or down for... Maybe it's down. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> Scooby-Doo's Mazatron. <laughs> Kool-Aid Mazatron. <laughs> pitfall. Uh, let's not do Pitfall today. Just... It'll just stress me out if I do it today. I don't want to do it today. We, we did pretty good last time. There we go. I could do centipede. The two ball. Well, I don't know how to do this one. I'm going to do something crazy. <laughs> it's just, you know, I could hit it backwards. And I did. Yeah, I got a ball in too, so that counts. That counts. I don't know if I can get that in. We'll try. Oh, I didn't hit that hard. That's okay. I hate Whitewater. Gosh, do I hate that game. I'd rather play a game that I'm going to enjoy. And I, I don't feel like I'm going to enjoy that one, so. Mike's tray has a meat patty, corn, a small salad, and a carton of milk. Oh, that wrong hole. Don't you hate that? I don't know where to hit this one. It's not going to go in any hole I put it in, so. <laughs> We're just going to ram it, though.
We got a ball in, though. I don't think that really counts, but... <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Hey, that one went in. Well, that didn't go where I wanted it to go. What happened there? Why does it say safety? I'm going to hit that other ball instead, but who cares? Oh, come on. I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, and and I guess w for some reason I'm the f I'm player one and player two, which doesn't make I guess there was they didn't put in no uh, AI for the computer. They didn't put in any AI for the computer. I think I'm gonna hit that nine ball. What if I hit it right about there? I like peas and onions. Well, I hit it, but I didn't hit it how I wanted to hit it. Joust? Mm, don't think so. Oh. Probably won't be able to get it in there, but we'll try anyway.
I'm not very good at pool. As you can tell. I'm not sure if I'd be any good at any other pool game. Hey, we got it in, but I scratched. Jesus. That even? That might be even. Nope. <laughs> Gosh. Yay! We did it! Isn't that a great song? Isn't that a great song? Dick Tracy for the NES. Centipede looks good on the Intellivision, but it but the centipede moves all choppy like. The Atari 2600 version plays, I think, the smoothest out of out of most of them, but it just has worse graphics. I've always been a big fan of the 2600 version of Centipede. I rate it highly.
Oh. Yeah, it is. The Atari 7800 and 5200 both have good versions of the Centipede. The Atari 7800 version, you can actually have a two-player where you both can play at the same time. And the 5200 version is has a very good version as well. ColecoVision version has the one with the big spider that almost looks like a tarantula. But I, I feel like the spider kind of just sits in the way too much, though, in that version. Oh, that was my fault. Oh, I'm falling apart. Oh, well, I was falling apart. Let's see. What's my score for this one? 43,460. So, no. Not good enough. Someone mentioned Defender. I'm not good at it, but I'll give it a go. My honest opinion is that Nova Blast is better. Actually, I don't remember how to play this one. I can't remember if there's like another mechanic to this one. Okay, I think I remember now. He tries, they try to steal the humans and then I have to uh, stop them from doing so. Well, let's play Nova Blast instead. Uh, who makes Nova Blast? Uh, my magic. Plays a lot smoother.
Where is he at? See, this this time I have things uh, attacking me from down below. They're destroying my city. I'm probably not doing this part right because they're destroying my city. Where'd that last one go? Game over. I don't know what my high score for this one is. No idea. 29,150. I see. Actually, in my honest opinion, Worm Whomper is slightly better than Beam Rider. Slightly.
Oh, I got a free life, but I died anyway. I I took a chance on it. Shoot, I screwed that up. <laughs> Screw that up completely. Oops. If I remember right, I think I read that Beam Rider was originally made for the Intellivision and all other versions would be ports or it would be ported to other systems later. I'm not sure if that's true or not. Nice catch. Ah, oh, too much going on. Hey, Retro Gamer Gen X. Oh, I screwed that up again, man. I, I, I'm not doing that right. I don't got the timing right on that. I, I'm, I'm not doing it the right way. I didn't know places like that had a uh, dinner. Oh, 
Aw, dang it. I gain a life, I lose a life. I gain a life, I lose a life. Got it, but barely. There we go. Oh, dang it. Shot my free life. Ah, there's too much stuff going on.
Barely got a lot of that one. Got him. God, it's getting more difficult. Oh, you can't go into those things. <clears throat> I've got a free life, though. I don't know how long it'll last, but... Oh, I didn't see it. Dang it. I guess if you do shoot them, they don't land, though. But you gotta get underneath them, I guess, before they land. Did it again. That game over? Nope. I thought I died. For sure I died. Barely hit that one. Nope, not that time. I could do. Is that game over? That's game over. Now, what's my high score for this game? Oh, 20,104. Wow. Whew. Well, I know you requested Dreadnought Factor Code. It's not a game that I'm really that fond of, but. Maybe I will just do one quick little run through on it or something and then call it a night. A lot of people love this game. I just don't. I'm just not a fan of this one. 
I don't like how slow you have to go, and and, th and th that that you miss everything. I went too fast and I was out of position. I just think it's kind of silly that you got to go through multiple times. I put on a higher difficulty for some reason. I'm annoyed that how 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 you can't get through a ship on on one time through. Or I don't think it's possible to get through on one attempt. We'll put on the easiest difficulty. Yeah, I'm just not a fan of this one. I don't know if I'll ever be a fan of this one. I thought I picked one difficulty, but this doesn't feel like one difficulty at all. I must actually hit a higher difficulty. I forget all the things you need to bomb to get through. Is it just the stuff in the middle? What are you putting in there? No, I, I probably didn't bomb everything that you're supposed to bomb. Let's see if it's just this thing here. I thought you had to have to do the ones in the inside, but maybe I'm wrong. No, I guess I'm wrong. I guess you gotta do all the vents. Which is kind of ridiculous to me, because you can't get them all in one go. And I hate that. I don't like that, that the game makes you come back through again and again and again. I find that extremely annoying. That's why I don't like this game. Now you'll probably just tell me I'm not playing the game right. That's fine. Yeah, I missed one over there. I want to miss that one too.
You should be able to go backwards, you know? If you miss something, fly backwards. I would like the game so much more. But in order to get to get as much stuff, you gotta go like two miles an hour. Ah, it's so boring. So anybody's watching, don't request this game unless you want to hear me complain, complain, and complain. <laughs> All right. That's enough of that. And it's my right to complain. <laughs> I'm allowed to. <laughs> I even respect that camel more than even Soldier Slaughter and Hulk Hogan. So tomorrow, we're playing Alternate Reality of the Dungeon, and uh, what were we doing last? We, di we did the ring, we got sent on a next quest, and I just got to figure out how to do the next quest. And then Sunday, we'll play more in television. And if I didn't get your, your requests... We will get to them Sunday, hopefully, maybe. You didn't disappoint. <laughs> if you're here on Sunday, Oni, request Warm Whomper. If you have never if you haven't ever seen me play it, I think it's slightly better than Beam Rider. Slightly. I think they're both great games, though. I always have a hard time choosing which game I like more. Beam Rider or Worm Whopper? But I might go with Worm Whopper just a little bit there. So, uh... I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. So, good night, and thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you later.